yesterday it was my birthday and I look like a crazy person but yeah yesterday was my birthday and I feel so grateful and I did not vlog it but I my last birthday vlog was like two years ago it reminded me watching it over reminded me that I love having my life documented so even though I'm doing nothing today I'm still gonna start by turning on the camera so welcome back if you're new here I'm Santia let's start this mundane Saturday let's Yesterday was my birthday and I, I'm not like a big fussy birthday person but I do like the idea of having my life documented and to start doing that I need to turn on the camera <laughs> and I just had one of my friends she messaged she's gonna pass by to get me a shout I'm not sure if we're gonna do anything after I may go for a tattoo I might not but let's let's dive into this day and let's get, let's get cute. I'm gonna get very cute for today. to talking to some really amazing things that we could do together so i'm really looking forward to that and looking forward to seeing how that could flourish but i'm back home now my friend zuri i don't think i said her name zuri is in the guest bedroom sleeping and her husband is going to come pick us up and i think we may go out uh, but my other friends just called and they're going to a bar in an hour um so I think I need to shower and get like a quick power nap and then go to meet them. So I'm gonna freshen up, drink some tea. <laughs> Your girl's old. I'm gonna drink some tea and then uh, get ready to meet them. Even if I just meet them for like an hour, I don't like, I don't wanna disappoint them given that I did say yes initially, but I didn't expect to stay out this long today. So yeah. Let me fix up myself now.
time. Like I really held myself accountable for the first time because before it was like because of this person, because of this situation, I am this way or my life is going in this direction. But I was like, you can pull yourself out of those relationships. You can yeah. pull yourself out of these situations and you brought yourself here where you are and you can get yourself to where you want to be. And that was really like the this mm -hmm. moment where I just well, I don't know if it was the New York air or yeah, what it was, yeah. but I was like, Beja, you really have to do something about this. So I went home and I really just wrote down i was like okay i'm tired of being this this is who i want to be and at that time mm. i didn't know what i was doing but i was really taking the first step to reprogramming my mind to to like changing my identity from what i thought it was to yeah. what i could be and what i wanted to be and where i wanted to go and it was as simple as i just want to be happier like that was my goal like i really just want to feel better like i don't want to get up every morning and i don't want to be crying every day like i yeah. really wanted to feel better and that was my first step and i think even now a lot of So overall, it's been a really good Sunday. I just made myself some dinner. I shook how uh, quickly I cooked this. So I made some, uh, some rice. I made some rice, some uh, potato salad, uh, boiled some broccoli, and some air fried chicken. And your girl don't drink, so I put some orange juice in a glass. And that is gonna be my vibe for tonight. Um, I'm about to watch House of Dragons. I'm in season two, so I'm gonna just, 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 just dip into the tea. What's going on in here? Hola, hola. Hey, baby. Hola. They send them an email. They give us some weird response, so we're still following up. So I just booked an Uber. I'm gonna go to a cafe now and work again. I don't know if you can hear the drumming, but it's been it's been a bother. <laughs> but I had calls all morning, and the calls went really well. And I've just been here sitting at my desk, just daydreaming for the last 15 minutes probably 40 minutes that's let me not lie <laughs> and i was just kind of procrastinating should i go and buy coffee creamer or should i just go to a cafe and i travel on saturday so it makes no sense me buying coffee creamer if it's just gonna stay in the fridge for a couple of days so just waiting for my uber now and i feel as though i'm trying to talk over this drumming my uber is here so let's go let's head out realize it's the end of another day and I haven't even spoken about the procedure that I did yesterday um, I'm home now obviously <laughs> it's pouring rain and it's storming outside so I'm gonna shower and make some tea have some dinner and relax for the rest of the evening but 
I just simply pop on here and like just give an update. So in January, my skin was like not the best, um, and not just my face. I mean, like my my arms and my back, especially. I could never wear strapless outfits, so wearing a strapless today was like a dream come true for me. <laughs> and um, like I would, I would always if I did wear something like that. I would do like a cardigan or like a shawl or something to cover that insecurity but to be able to wear it now just feels so comforting so good and now that i'm in the gym like it just it feels feels good to look good and just have my shoulders out for once but i did a number of those sessions uh between january and now probably between yeah between january and now I did a couple laser sessions and also some chemical peels. Now I think I only did one chemical peel, but it was to combat the hyperpigmentation on my skin. I could show you images. I need to check, like, chat my dermatologist and I'll pop some images here. But I had like a lot of spots and a lot of breakups on my skin. It's a lot better now, a lot better. So hopefully this um, session would be the last one that I would have to endure it's not painful i think this time it was a little bit more painful than usual because i think my skin is a bit more sensitive now um but yeah it's it's a lot a lot better so i think i'm gonna see the results in four to six weeks and you could see it's still like a couple spots a couple spots there and let me see if i can show you my back Yeah, a couple spots back there as well. So I could give you guys an update um, in four to six weeks, but that was what I that that procedure is what I've been doing to like clear my skin. So um, she also did some in my face. So I don't have my my face just like this was a pimple here that just kept returning. Not sure why it would not pop, <laughs> but it was just there chilling. And then this one here, hopefully, that could be gone. That was a pimple as well. Um, it, it, I didn't pop it, my friend popped it. And now I look, I have like a weird brow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really exhausted. Thank you if you made it this far in the video. Um, I'm gonna try my best to be a lot more consistent and making more weekly content and that I do have a trip this weekend so hopefully I could get that one recorded and uploaded. I didn't say I was going right. <laughs> I feel a little annoyed because like my last trip I um uh, I was like my last vlog I was talking about the camping trip and then the camping trip kind of like full up big time. I added the clips on the beginning of this video uh -huh. but we, we now need to plan a new camping weekend so because of the weather the weather here has been so bad like really bad but yeah i'm gonna go take a shower and freshen up and get ready to wind down for the night hopefully read a book or do some more work just a little bit more but i think i might be a little too tired for that but if you're new here uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and you like hit the notification bells or the subscribe button or Put a comment or anything um that would be awesome i'll really appreciate that if you're a returner love you loads thank you so much for sticking around even with the inconsistency of my uploads and i look forward to talking to you guys some more so have a good one and have a good night wherever you are bye